Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way TV. My name is Rav Dukan. Yeah, in this video today, we'll be talking about our preview for the massive, massive game. It might be Ten Hag's last game. That's what everybody is saying, even though I don't believe that. But Manchester United is uh, will be going to Portugal. In Porto, I for the cha for the, not the Champions League, but the league game. I'll, I'll tell you guys uh, the lineup. I think I'm going to use my predicted lineup. The lineup I was will use and i'll ask you guys again that you guys write the best lineup well which would be better for manchester united go below drop your comments below i will reply to it how can ten hack save his job you know what tunde don't come in and join lineup that would <laughs> help ten hack to be sacked i know <laughs> i know you already made your mind on that but look coming back seriously this is a game in which i don't want to use my cliche i always use these games this word this is a game in which manchester united has to win we don't, I mean, the question is, can we even have a draw? Um, uh, I, would say, I think um, this is the biggest question. Can United go there for a draw even? Can we even have a draw? We're not talking about winning. This is how down Manchester United is as a football club. And this is not only on one person. It's not even on one player. It's on a system. A system which is built on, uh, you know, on players having more power than managers. I don't think that if Ten Hag was coaching an Ajax team, which presently is inferior to the Manchester United team on paper, they are going to produce such performance. The least thing you need to have in a football team is you need to have show, you need to give it all. You have to show the intention to win. You need to show passion in the game. We did not see that in Tottenham Hotspur. Tell me what you guys think because I do not see it. I'm not wearing glasses and I think it's too early for me to do so. But let me tell you what I think United should do. I'll go into that game. For me, the priority will be the midfield. If we can make sure that we we win the midfield win the midfield if we can cope with the midfield i think uh honestly uh we have a chance to hold that game at least we go, we, we leave the game without losing that game because if we can keep the ball more on our feet without just running like headless chickens then i think manchester united have a chance what do you think below drop that comment i won't listen to you and if you're new here guys what are you waiting you just subscribe we do very casual videos here as a united fan the natural fan um uh, content here yes, it's free so get involved so there is a place in the pitch which i think is will be vital many will be thinking about defense i sh you shouldn't go to porto defense by defensive minded one of the first thing we should not do while i'm not focused on the defense is we shouldn't concede goals we shouldn't go into porto and try want to be defensive we have to try to manage the game and that's where you have someone like Bruno, who is not on red card in European football, who have to produce a masterpiece. We shall know. There have been a lot of questions here have been asked. Are the players against Ma um, Ten Hag? Is Bruno want, does Bruno want Ten Hag to be sacked? Does Marcus Rashford want Ten Hag to be sacked? Uh, there was this uh, saying also we had from, uh, was it from Telegraph? It was from jo uh, Telegraph's uh, journalist saying that after the, the, uh, the, the finals of the cup, um, there was this question asked on certain players of certain players if they want Ten Hag to stay. You know, this is he did he did. I mean, it's just uh, ridiculous. I just think that look, one of the biggest problem we're talking about the Manchester United Football Club is not really the the players. It's really those who run the team, giving the power for the players to dictate what happens. It doesn't work in Manchester City. It doesn't work in Liverpool. It doesn't work in Real Madrid, and it's effing work only in Manchester United where players treat the club like 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 a five-star hotel i don't want i don't want pancake i want fried eggs eggs i don't want chicken and chips I, I mean i don't want fish and chips i want you know some good uh, uh you can call it pizza or whatever of your choice this is this is the wrong way to to uh, run a club and let me tell all of you who are ten hard out he, when he is sat if this thing isn't changed by manchester united then forget it this club is going down the hill 100 percent we will win games. We'll go down here. Let's come back to the game. Yeah. So um, I just wanted eight minutes. We are now five. So let's go straight with our lineup. We will use the ball as the pen. Yeah. The goalkeeper for me will be uh, Onana. I didn't say coming in this time. Uh, but the two central back. I think that because we're playing away, I don't know. It seems as if uh, let me put it this way. I will want to see Harry Magwe in this game for heights. Uh, Delit made some errors, but I think Delit should start again in this game with uh, uh, Martinez, Lisanto Martinez, if he is fit. The left back, we have no choice. There is no risk. I think he will go strong. Uh, Delo on the left, Mazari on the right. This is a problem United. We don't have double.
players on setting position on the defensive uh, part of play we really have to play with three defense with three i mean the midfielders three midfielders two defensive minded and one creative and my defensive mini midfielder will be in the midfield it will be uh ogate who will sit behind the defender i think kobe Moenu, if he is not injured but if he's injured then uh, let's put kobe Moenu out of this i will go with um uh, Ericsson, the the Danish captain, Ericsson, and as a playmaker, I will still keep Bruno, who is the captain. On the left of the pitch, Marcus Rashford, nothing changes. We won, we won, the, we won those runs on uh, counter attack because if Porto comes on us very hard, we need to hit them on a break counter attack. This is where Rashford first come to play. But look what this is how I'm going to change things. Ganacho will come in into the half. Ganacho should be that player who will come and bring some energy into the team. As a youth player, but the biggest mistake I think Shane Ten Hag did, which I think he shouldn't do in this game, is that I hope and I believe that it's not raining during this period of the year in um, in um, in Porto. So I will go for I will use Ahmad on the right. I need someone who can keep that ball, who can slow the tempo, who can keep us with the ball. One of the biggest problem we had with against Tottenham Hotspur. So we couldn't keep the ball that much and let me tell you guys all of you who claim to think you know tactics and whatever if you have a team that you can't keep you can't control a game by keeping the ball for some time at least then uh, your players will be running like headless chicken that's just basic football is so easy i tell you guys this every day and i think you must have discovered now and on the nine i will start with rasmus holland look rasmus holland is someone who has already a reputation in manchester in the football club he is already like a senior player I am not, I wouldn't say I'm disappointed with Joshua Zeski, but I would say I was um, a little bit confused with his body language. He was like in a, a fish in a, in a big pond, you know. Joshua Zeski showed some level of, um, not immaturity, but he showed some level, obviously, of maybe immaturity but not immaturity he was up of, i mean he wasn't courageous enough in that game with, with august totem you know you need to grab the moment one of the biggest biggest player i start i told you guys sometimes i played football somewhere at all i can even tell you guys that at some point when we started as kids i i had better games than him he was a midfielder if you don't have that courage to want to impose yourself on the big games then football Football, I mean, you won't go anywhere. You, you're a mid-table player. So I think Joshua Zeski needs to come out of his shell, needs to put some character in his game in order to be... He needs to put character in his game. He needs to take things in his hand or he will be just swapped by the, the pressure of, of being a Manchester United player. Tell me what you think below. This is what I've done. So uh, I've gone for um, a Manchester United sensational victory. Three goes to two. I think it can go either way. It can be Manchester United three goes to go. It can be Porto three goes to two. No matter how good the Porto team is, it's a beatable team also. They have flaws on their defense. So if we take advantage on our counter attack and we score our op uh, opportunities, we can win this game. Tell me what you think below. Smash a like on the video. Share the video with everybody. Get involved in the United way. We have been shadow banned, uh, I think, I, for reasons I can't understand. I can understand we do videos, we can't get 300 on a video or, or a thousand, it's, it's, it's strange. But I respect the fact it's a competitive uh, niche. So uh, for those of you who have subscribed, please, please, please keep sending the video, I mean, sharing the video, get involved in the channel. Tell me your lineup below and I'll reply uh, 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 immediately. And uh, I've gone for a 3-2, I said. 3-2 Manchester United, but it could go the other way. We'll come back, guys, tomorrow. Do a... Uh, uh, Match reaction immediately after the game. So stay tuned to the channel and uh, yeah, get involved in the highway and talk to you soon. Bye bye.